Hi, I'm Lisa with Unlimited Book Reviews, and today's review is for Ronaldo, Rudy's Birthday Extravaganza by Maxine Sylvester, and she does all the artwork, and that's the lovely cover there. So this book is under the children's books, action and adventure, and animals genres. The ranking right now for where it's at on um, .ca is 326 and the highest ranking on .com is 1488. So you can kind of get an idea of how popular it's getting right now. This is the series Ronaldo the Flying Reindeer series. This is actually the third book in the series and it's 167 pages long. There are some illustrations throughout the book. I think to me it seemed like there were a few more in this one compared to the last one, but they're very good and they're often at great parts of the book. The target age for this book is around 6 to 10 years old, but it definitely could be read to someone younger and has enough action going on that it would keep their interest. The main characters in the book, we've got Ronaldo, who it's written from his point of view, and then we have Rudolph, or Rudy, his best friend. It's written in the third person. So the book description, it is summertime in Beresford. Ronaldo and Rudy are beside themselves with excitement. Monty the Moose, the most incredible magician in the whole world, is performing at Rudy's birthday party. But before the festivities began, there's the important matter of the reindeer flyover, an ancient tradition of the reindeer flying academy that marks the end of the school term. But Rudy might not be able to fly. He has injured his hoof and refuses to see Dr. Kloppen. Rudy is terrified of needles and, rumor has it, the doctor's needle is the size of a rocket. Meanwhile, Ronaldo meets celebrity baker Mrs. Sorensen and offers to deliver her cakes to Carrots and Cakes Bakery before flying school. The weather is hot, so Ronaldo rushes through the forest so he can deliver the cakes before the icing melts. But trouble is lurking in the woods. Dasher and his menacing brothers Comet and Prancer are hiding in the bushes, waiting for Ronaldo. So there is a lot going on. This is good. It's summertime, which is a little different than the last book that I read, too. The character development on this, Ronaldo just continues to show his giving nature in this third installment of the series. He helps his friends, his neighbors, and his school during the course of this book. It seems like he's always thinking of others and how he can help and give. Um, when his friend is sick, even his mother's um, his friend's mother calls Ronaldo to help out. When he ends up with unexpected funds in his pocket, he immediately thinks of how he can help others with it. So it's just, he's a real inspiration to all of us as we read this story about his giving nature and watch him grow up. It's also a real blast to hear the stories of his overeating because after all, he wouldn't want to offend anyone by not eating something. So he's just very kind, very giving, and it's really fun to read. Good lessons for young children. Originality, yep, definitely. Suspense, there's a little bit in there. Humor, yes. Um, drama and conflict, yes, for sure. Not a real lot of mystery in this one, but lots of action going on. So the writing, the author is Maxine Sylvester, and she's written this, and I misspelled her name there, so sorry about that, Maxine. It's written in um, easy-to-read third person, with no typos, no weird inconsistencies. You aren't left hanging at the end. It wraps up real nice. And she has three books in Kindle Unlimited, and um, that's everything that she has out, which is really cool. I would call it a great book, for sure. So quotes highlighted by the reader, I didn't see any when I had it on my Kindle, so I highlighted some of the ones I like. Rudy was bolting from the building like a fox chasing a hare, the needle bouncing up and down with his every step. Ronaldo's saying that about Rudy. As you can imagine, that was a good part. There are no words to describe the next noise that erupted from Ronaldo's belly, but it was swiftly followed by a mighty belch of which a tire 
Tyrannosaurus Rex would have been proud. So that was a really funny part too. She coughed and sputtered. Carotade spurted from her mouth. She put her hand to her chest, gasping for breath, and watched cross-eyed as Carotade erupted from her nose. So you can see this is really geared at that age group who would think this kind of stuff was just hilarious. And it was very funny. So on Amazon.com it has seven reviews with a five out of five score. Um, James J. Cudney says, the creativity in this series is magnificent. Not only do you have a wonderful family and village full of reindeer, but you have tons of great locations, events, and themes. Children easily learn how to interpret a range of feelings, from conquering fears of the doctor to not having enough enough money to go to a special class. It's a realistic lesson built into a cute set of characters full of charm and emotion. Adding to the great story are beautiful drawings filled with humor, detail, and imagination. So I definitely agree with everything you said. Go check it out yourself. Be sure to like my video if it helped you and subscribe to my channel and thanks so much for stopping by.